Oh. <laughs> hey guys, so what we have here is a one gallon aquarium because I'm gonna start putting fish in one gallons. No, no, I'm just kidding. This is actually Zach's one gallon aquarium that he gave to me. Not because he wants me to have a one gallon in the shape of a diamond, but because he has given me back the bristlenose pleco. The bristlenose pleco. I'm going to show you guys a video here, and this is the video of when I first got this guy. He was so small. I actually got him from somebody who's breeding them because it's hard not to breed these guys. They breed so easily in most cases. And so he had a little baby bristlenose, and I picked him up, and I was hoping he was a male. I was hoping I would have this guy for a long time, then he started attacking my other fish. He started attacking primarily the other sucker fish. They like to have dominance of that subcategory of fish. I don't know how to group them, but he likes to be, the bristlenose plecos like to be the most dominant sucker fish in an aquarium. So they will attack other ones, especially twig catfish, which were my favorite back then. And so he had to go. And where better a place than to send him to Zach and have him keep this guy in his planted aquarium. That was all about two years ago. Zach has had him for a long time uh, and he's been through a few phases. He's been very aggressive. He has turned out to be a male, which is what I was hoping for with these guys that grow br uh, big bristles on their face for the male. So I'm hoping he has that. I didn't really get a great look at him. Um, and we're gonna get a great look at him in the cinematic later on in this video. But I think he's gonna look great in there because he's got that those those kind of fake branches coming out of his face as camouflage. You know, he's got he's a calico, so he's got like spots and stuff like that. He looks really really cool. I hope he doesn't mess with any other fish. I'm obviously not gonna have the whiptail catfish in there now. In fact, I actually listed him on Kijiji for uh, rehoming, so he's gonna be free. Hopefully, somebody's able to take care of him with the right kind of water and is able to treat him with any kind of parasitic medications. So hopefully that ends up happening soon so I can free up that tank again and get some other awesome fish. Look for garamis, look for rock shrimp or flower shrimp or bamboo shrimp. They have a lot of different names. But I have some cool ideas for this paludarium yet to come, including more anoles, so look forward to that as well. The 40 gallon aquarium is gonna go maybe through another Lego phase, so I might change the mock-up. If you guys have ideas, let me know. I probably won't be able to do anything submerged. I know you guys really want that, but with Lego, it just floats so I, everything would just be floating at the surface. There wouldn't even be a point to it. But if you have ideas for a dry mock setup in the aquarium, let me know and I will probably do it. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. I'd love to hear your ideas though. Quick interjection that I forgot to say while I was filming that first part. Uh, Ethan's fish I took a video of because I was there in Toronto just last weekend and she looks pretty good. The tank looks pretty good, but eventually they are gonna be upgraded to the 40 gallon aquarium after we do the Lego mock. So I just wanted to mention that real quick and I wanted to show this awesome footage. Yeah, there's the awesome footage. All right, right back to it. With the corner of the paludarium, woo, it's right there. Uh, with the corner of the paludarium, a few thoughts are going through my head. Originally thinking of a dwarf crayfish would be pretty cool. I have them climb around in there. Maybe I'll have some roots in there. Uh, I could do some gobies. I was thinking about that, maybe bumblebee gobies. I could do a little uh, scarlet baddis. I could do killifish. I could do a puffer fish, I could do stuff like that. Let me know if you have more mini ideas for that. That'll probably be one of the things I do next because I'm going out with Zach very soon. And last big update before we check out here and go to the cinematic of this guy. Hopefully I get some good shots of him. We are going to be probably babysitting a chameleon here at the house, which is gonna be really, really cool. It's gonna be up in Ethan's room, and I think he's really gonna like taking care of it. It's just gonna be for a few weeks. We're not keeping it long term, but that'll be a pretty cool addition to the channel. So. If you guys like the sound of that, subscribe, and hopefully you'll see it all this summer. I'm really stoked for it, and I hope that you guys are too. If you like this video, or if you end up liking it at the end of the cinematic, maybe the cinematic really hits the spot for you, make sure you leave a like, and I will see you guys next Sunday.